What's up guys? Welcome back to our video. This is Alex and we're here back here in the garage and we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, this video is not about the bikes. It's more about the mountain bike howler that I have. You know, everybody's seen my Ram 1500 that I have. If you haven't seen it, uh, there's a few videos where I show it off. But we're gonna be working on that truck today. Uh, this is something that I've been meaning to do uh, from a long time ago. I even attempted it uh, a while back and it was a fail because it did not work out. I will show you a picture of, of how that thing turned out in a little bit. But before I start, please, uh, you know, please use the usual subscribe, notification bell on. And if you want to support this channel, you, do, can, you can do it different ways in the affiliate links in the description below. Uh, or just give it a like and subscribe it'll be for free you don't have to do anything else but that and then it'll help the channel a lot so this is what I want to do let me show you okay so this is my Ram 1500 has a extended cab not not extended the uh, crew cab is the you know the all full size fold four doors and everything is the sport model and uh, the sport model comes in with the uh, hood like this, which I really love. That's one of the reasons I got this uh, this uh, truck. And uh, the only thing I've done to it is uh, put in the uh, step side, replace the uh, batches with black black ones, and I bought newer rims from also a 1500, but they're black. Is I wanna and and I plastic dip the uh, this emblem. Even though I got another one, and we're going to talk about that for a second. So, what I want to do, this is a 2011, and anywhere from 2009 to 2012, the front end is like this. Now, being that I'm not going to buy another truck for a long time, this truck only has like 124,000 miles. I don't use it too much. Feels like new. The interior is intact. It's just perfect. There's no reason for me to buy another one. However, I do want to change the look for it a little bit. So what I want to do is replace this front end. You know, uh, the 20, oh, 2009 to 2012, you can find the difference on the grill and the bumper. The bumper is going to have the vertical uh, fog lights on both sides. And then the grill is going to have like a notch right here so the bumper is also different so i tried to do this this conversion last year i bought a bumper a grill i hadn't paint them and installed and then it did not work the reason being um right here it was not flush it will stick i don't remember if it stick back a little bit in it was just it just did not look right so I did a little more research and I bought new parts. I found a OEM black bumper that's uh, 2013 to 2019, I believe, or whatever the last four generation year is, that has the vertical lights. It's, uh, I already have what holds, it's, it's kind of like the absorber support. It's, it's, it's plastic, it holds the, the, I will show it to you in a second. And then, um, that's what I had before. I had the grill painted and the bumper painted. Bumper did not work out. I sold that bumper and I bought, I had the grill painted. So I still have the grill. The new emblem is a black one that matches the rear one that I already changed. So I went ahead and bought the, uh, the bumper bracket metal piece. Apparently is different. And there's, there's something that's this thing sits on and it's also different so and also there's two things that go right here on the sides one on each side I got those as well just in case I need them I got them on Amazon the only thing that I have not bought yet is because I want to make sure that it uh, test fitted first the bottom right there is gonna be different from this one so I have to buy that one it's only like 60 something dollars and the fog lights i do have some fog lights that i got from the uh when i bought the uh the back piece of it it came with it but they're like busted out uh, the interior is peeling off so i'm just gonna end up buying new ones if this fits so what i want to do because i have not seen let me go back over here so 
I've been doing a little bit of research and I have not found anybody actually done this before a conversion. This is also a fourth generation within a fourth generation to another fourth generation, but the difference on the years 2009 to 2012 and then it's different from 13 to 18 or 19, whatever the last year, the fourth generation is. I've not found anybody doing so. I, there, I found a video on YouTube of this guy that went to, but the thing is he did not have the sport bumper. He did end up installing a sport bumper on it, but he had the other one, the two piece one, that one that has the chrome on the bottom and the other one like that. And then I have, I also found um, Boost Motorsports he had the eco diesel, same scenario. He had the two piece, but he also had, he already had the, the 2013 and over. This is, a, again, this is a 2011. So I'm just changing from 2011 to the 13 and newer. So that's, I found, I did research, saw the diagrams, and I bought what I think I'm gonna need. I will leave affiliate links for everything in the description below. I got everything from Amazon. Everything is readily available from Amazon, even though I said it was gonna take a while to come here. It took way less than I expected. So, all right guys, so it's a few days later and I decided to go ahead and tackle the RAM front end swap. And I think I'm gonna break this video into two parts. This is still gonna be part one. I wanna show you all the parts that I got by the research that I made. And these are the parts that I gather. And I'm gonna link all of them in the description below. That way, if you want to do this type of swap, you can do it too. Uh, all the parts together, they were not that expensive, but let me show them to you. So that's the bumper absorber. I had bought this a while back for like $40. This is used. I got the bumper a couple of weeks ago for $110. This is a OEM, so I gotta get this stripped and painted. Uh, those are the bumper corner supports that go under the headlights, the left, and right they come as a pair i got those from amazon i had bought this grill used and got it painted last year on the fail swap so i kept it so that's a good thing i don't have to paint this anymore now this is one of the things that i did not swap the first time this is the bumper uh, uh bar whatever absorber i got this from amazon and also this piece i got from amazon so again everything is available on amazon and I'm gonna link them in the description below. So since I don't wanna make this video super long, I'm gonna make, break it into two parts. This is the end of the first part, and if you wanna know if this is gonna work, stay tuned, because according to the research that I did, I have everything that I need to do a, go ahead and do the swap, and this is something that I have not been able to find anywhere done before, not even on forums, not even on Facebook or YouTube, None of that, so hopefully this will help you out. So I'm gonna start by removing everything on my truck and go from there. Other, other than that, stay tuned for part two where I'm gonna do all the removing. I might not go into details because I don't know what I'm doing yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking things apart. I have, however, taken the grill apart before in one of my uh, most viewed videos where I replaced the headlight bulbs so check that one out if you want to know how to remove the grill. And I guess everything from there is just going to be screw by screw uh, one at a time. That is it for this one. Again, don't leave. Stay tuned for part two where you're going to be doing all the swap. That's it for today. Make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that way you don't miss the second part where I'm going to be doing all the swapping. And that's it for this. See you on the next one. I'll be right back.